guys! Welcome to my channel, Pet Z or Pet Z or whatever. Today's topic is very, very interesting. Wow. To be honest, I didn't think of this topic by myself. My friend requested me to do this, and I think it's very interesting. And I think you guys would enjoy this video. So let's call him. Hi, Scott. Hello. Hi, dude. Hey, dude. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. That's good. I'm so excited. Me too. So, what are we going to talk about today? Uh, so today I wanted to talk about some things that I noticed during my trips to Thailand, where there was a mm -hmm. bit of a cultural difference between America or USA mm -hmm. and Thailand, and so I would do something in like a public place or somewhere with. Other people around where I didn't realize that I was doing something wrong until you would tell me after. Wow. Okay, what is the first one? So, one thing that was like a pretty big difference was um, hugging, right? So with with Thailand, hugging isn't something that you would normally mm -hmm. see with people that aren't in a relationship or maybe family, right? Yes. And in in the USA, it's not. Very uncommon to hug each other, even if you are just friends or if you see someone that you haven't seen in a long time. So, or or even if um if someone is upset, and there was this one time. Do you remember when we were in the mall and you were telling me something that was like very emotional for you, and you were very very upset, and I felt bad. And so when you were finished telling me, I wanted to give you a big hug. Because I felt so bad, but we were surrounded uh -huh. by people. So you told me like, no, 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 you can't. Like, there's too many people around, and I just felt <laughs> terrible because I wanted to like make you feel better and like, like, like comfort my friend, but it it just felt like I had to stand there and watch you cry, surrounded by people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you hug me. At that time, it was not appropriate to do that in public right. area. You know. Yeah, and mm -hmm. the USA is the same way about certain things like maybe kissing or something like that. But a hug is something that you can do with like friends or or maybe just someone you haven't seen lately. Or if somebody is sad, you can mm -hmm. just hug them anywhere. It's not a problem. <laughs> It's not a good thing to do that in Thailand. <laughs> no, I understand. Mm -hmm. It's just a. It's like, it's it's a different way of seeing things. Like, hugging is seen as more maybe intimate or like um, private or something. Yes, maybe. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. 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 We let's can move probably on. go through them. Sorry. I said let's move on. Okay. Another thing that I uh, that I thought was interesting was when I called. Do you remember when we were at dinner with Jan's friend and I referred to him as dude, and you asked me like, what? When is yeah. it appropriate to use the word dude? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, like. Um. From. Uh huh. No. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um. <laughs> no, you. So what I know is that the word dude refers to friend. Right. 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 Yeah, and P. Jan's friend is older than you a lot, and I just wonder why you call him friend or dude. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, so mm -hmm. to to clarify for the people that are that are watching the video, um, this was mm -hmm. a Thai friend of ours who was with someone from the USA. So him and I actually live. Relatively close to each other, so when we spoke to each other, it was very fluent and normal. And um, Petch heard me refer to him as dude, even though he's maybe what, like 10 or 15 years older than me. So when you refer to older people, you would say like P followed by their name, right? Like like it's like a respect thing, right? Yes. But I think. In the USA, if you're out to dinner with someone and you're being like mm -hmm. casual and just having a good time, it's like mm -hmm. very welcoming to just refer to them as like very familiar terms, like they're already your friend. Do you understand? Oh yes, yes, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> and so, so if even I so what? 
<laughs> go ahead. I was just gonna say, well, actually, you go first. <laughs> if I meet your mom and we have kind of uh, casual dinner together, can I just say do to your mom? Mm -hmm. <gasps> really? <laughs> No, really? yes and no. It's <laughs> yes it's it's like there there's sort of like um maybe some like unspoken rules about it. So I think um if, if it's somebody who you should normally give respect to because they're older than you or your boss, but instead they're somebody that you've put yourself in a situation where you're more friendly with them, it's okay to refer to them as these common terms. So like if somebody at my work who's in a higher position than me is also mm -hmm. friends with me, it's okay if I call them dude. Or if like someone, if one of my friend's dads is very familiar with me and we are just talking as people and not as him being the parent of my friend, it may be more normal for me to use a term like that. But if you're still making a first impression on someone or maybe met them in a more professional setting, it wouldn't be acceptable. Mm, okay, gotcha. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, what else? All right, here we go. Yeah. Hold on. Um, swimming. So, swimming. Do you remember when we went to the beach? Yes. Well, yeah, when we went to the beach, uh, what was it? Was that uh, Pattaya? No, 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 no. Bang San. Really? Okay. Yes. I remember when I got there, everybody was in the water, but I didn't see anybody wearing bathing suits. <laughs> what? Bathing suits? Yeah, do you remember, like, I looked around and everybody was wearing clothing, like t-shirts and, oh, and shorts. Yeah. Yeah, that's super weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's not uncommon here for, for somebody to go swimming in their clothing. It's not unacceptable. But if you go to the beach, everybody is wearing bikinis and, and swim trunks. Like, uh -huh. you don't wear, like, clothing to go into the water. You would wear a bathing suit. Mm. It seems like in Thailand, a lot of people just go swimming in their clothing. Is that normal? Yes, it's normal. Like, for me, <laughs> when I go to the beach, I just wear t t-shirt in shorts right and just that but i think people wear bathing suit when they go to the swimming pool not the beach or the sea so you you wear clothing if you go to the beach but you wear a bathing suit if you go in a swimming pool <gasps> yes okay <laughs> yeah i think so <laughs> um so if if somebody is wearing a bathing suit at the beach do they seem weird? No. All right. I don't go to the beach that okay, much. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so it's my opinion. Um, okay, I have like okay, plenty of others. let's move on. <laughs> okay, I have a good one. Uh, money. It, it seems like a bigger deal when you pay for somebody in Thailand. Is that is that a thing? I, it's something that I think I noticed while I was over there is like, if I tried to pay for someone's food or if, if like, do you remember when we got the room to film those videos with David and I had to pay for the room? Yeah. And it seemed like this huge, huge favor to you. And David, he thought it was a big deal too, but it didn't <laughs> seem like a very big favor to me. It seems like in the USA, if you are close with someone and they're your friend, you don't mm -hmm. mind paying for like something that everyone is going to do together or you don't mind paying for a fun experience but in thailand it seems like such a big mm -hmm. favor to spend money like that yeah since p david is not thai he's from taiwan right so right. i think it's not just thai it's yeah, maybe yeah. It could asian be like a, culture yeah it could just be <laughs> asian in general scott do you think david is gonna see this video maybe should I blow him a kiss? <laughs> sure! You couldn't hear it. <laughs> that was for you, David. Okay.
All right, I have like so many. So, um, so we were on an escalator at, I think, what was it, Siam, one of the malls there? I don't know. It, yeah, it doesn't really matter. But um, obviously Thailand is always super hot, so I was sweating. And, uh, and while we were on our way up the escalator, I took my shirt, I'm showing the camera. Um, I took my shirt like in my hand like this, and I went wow. and wiped my sweat from my forehead, which in the USA, people do all the time if it's really, really hot, and anybody who sees them do it is like, yeah, it's pretty hot out. It's not, it's not something you would do in a formal setting, but if you're at the mall or, or you're in public somewhere, it's not a bad thing to do. But you immediately were like, um, is that normal? And I was like, what? And you were like, do you normally do that? And I was like, yeah. And you were like, don't do that. <laughs> Why don't I remember that? Really? You don't remember at all? That was for my first time, back in August. Last year? Yeah. You know, my nickname is Goldfish. Right, yeah, you're a goldfish. You don't remember anything. Well, don't worry. I've, <laughs> I've got it covered. Maybe I... I can remember that if I see your video. Oh yeah, true. You have to like actually see me do it, <laughs> what I'm talking about. Patch! Hello! Scott, can you hear me? Scott, can you hear me now? Alright, I'm just gonna take a second because she's trying to figure out how to call me. I think this is a good opportunity to talk about Patch needing a new laptop. <gasps> My idea is that we put together a fundraiser and everybody in Thailand donates so that Patch can afford a laptop that doesn't take this long to let her answer a phone call. <laughs> Maybe I should end your video. Subscribe to Patch Zet below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment, let us know some feedback, and you know what? Leave in the comments, Patch, get a new laptop. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I'm ever gonna hear from her again. <laughs> Subs subscribe to me. I have a YouTube channel. It's music. It's nothing to do with language, but I make songs. <laughs> All right. I'll, 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 I'll film again if I can get the call going. Bye. Hello? Hello? So you can't hear me now. Yeah, I can hear you now. <laughs> Why? Why weren't you responding? <laughs> yeah, we haven't been video calling this entire time. We've just been audio calling.